What up guys, I'm back one more time for this controller you're viewing on eBay right now. Um, so I just want to do a quick demonstration on the black lights and how sick they really are. Uh, these black light LEDs are located one there, one there, that illuminates the entire controller. Every time you click the sync button, mode 1, 2, 3, 4 corresponds with the rainbow LED as you would know if you watch the other video first. So now you know if you're watching this video first. Okay, so, basically, I got a fairly new pair of Nike Air Force Ones, uh, the other ones on the floor, uh, kind of beat up, not too old, but, uh, beat up, so, these are white and black, now I'm going to show you what the black lights can do, I'm going to turn off the lights, and power on the controller, now as you can see, that's the startup, uh, basically, this shows that your controller is booting up, once that's done, your controller will be synced to your Xbox, and it should be synced, but my Xbox is in my shop, so it's not going to sync. Uh, as you can see, there's black light LEDs shining through right there. Um, I don't know. It, it doesn't look good on the camera. It looks blue, but everywhere that it's lighting up blue is lighting up purple for me. Like, uh, the camera doesn't pick it up that well, but, uh, I'd just like to show you this. Um, for me, it's lighting up, like, purple. If you've ever been to one of those nightclubs where they have, uh, like, the black lights, or, like, you ever watch CSI or something, anything white will illuminate, like, a purplish color. Uh, that's how they find blood and stuff and crime scenes. And, uh, basically you could see anything white around here. Uh, I'll show you a quick demonstration on my t-shirt. Uh, it's an A-frame shirt. Now, what I'm looking at, it's like a purplish color. Actually, you can see it kind of well here. Right there, you see that color purple? Right there. That's uh, the black light. I don't know why it's reading that, but it's not picking up the rest. It's coming out blue, except for right there and there. Uh, but that's what this entire sneaker is coming out to look like everywhere there's blue. And even, like, over here, it's not really illuminated, but, uh, I can't really see that. But when I have it facing here, over here, it's still illuminated, and it's coming out, like, purplish. Uh, the black lights illuminate the entire sneaker from that point right there. I don't know why you guys can't see it, but, uh, I can see it. This camera just doesn't have that good of resolution. Maybe if I record an HD camera, it'll work better, but, um, the black lights are really great. Uh... For all you guys that are programmers out there, I highly advise this controller. And now, to just show you the LEDs, um, there's eight different LEDs to illuminate the faceplate. And uh, when your batteries start to die, these black lights, they, they won't burn out. But uh, what happens is they dim down enough, which is cool. Um, I have a resistor in here so that when the batteries start to lose voltage and your batteries are like halfway percentage, these black lights will dull down to like really low so you can't even see them. And this will shine bright as fucking hell. And, excuse my language, um, you can see rapid fire is right there. And turn on a different color, your whole controller will illuminate green, front and back. Right now, it's black lights. Actually, right there, you can see that it's purple, true color, uh, but it looks blue for here some reason. And on the sneaker, it looks blue, except uh, it's pretty sick. Uh, this control is pretty nice. Uh, now the whole control will light up green, etc., etc. Now it's blue. Since it's coming out blue, I like to show you guys blue. That's why on the eBay picture, um, the whole control looks like it's illuminating blue front and back. But it's really not. It's really just um, black lights, and then black lights on the back, and then the blue on the front. Um, once this, these LEDs die down, after you like at uh, two bars down, then this will overwhelm it, and it'll take up the whole controller. Will be that color right there, that vibrant blue color, or um, that's like a a greenish red. It, it looks like Christmas, kind of. It, it's pretty nice. Um, this one's a teal. That one lights up pretty well. Um, it's 
basically like a green and blue combo. Lights up that whole controller pretty nicely. Turn that off. Now you can see that the black lights are still illuminating the whole controller. Pretty nice. Um, this is a purple. It's pretty sick. Um, now we got it's like a, a teal and a blue, blue and a red combo. Um, and then this is the rainbow illumination. Once this is the LEDs in the back die down a little bit, the whole controller will light up synchronized in rainbow. That's the only reason I put the LED uh, straight in the middle right there. Ah, too bright. Right there. I put it there. So uh, when these LEDs in the back die down, the whole controller will illuminate this color. And that corresponds with mode 3 for rainbow. And um, that will work on quality black ops the best in the rapid fire world right now. Um, the reason that the black lights are facing that way, if you can see my finger, it's going that way, is because it is most powerful from the tip of the light shoots out like that. So it's most powerful, and basically it's like a flashlight. Uh, I'll show you the floor right now. Um, basically my carpet it's illuminating like a flashlight, so if you lose something or something, I don't know what it's useful for, but, uh, this wall, it's got like a flashlight on your Xbox controller, it's pretty sick, and everything that's white that goes near, it illuminates it a purplish color, and you could easily turn off that, it turns off the rapid fire, and you got a black light controller, um, once the light, the face plate, uh, plate light goes off, uh, the power of the blacklight LEDs is just as strong. And one more cool thing is on the battery pack, you guys can't see it, but the battery pack illuminates like a purplish color, just like uh, that color right there. The whole battery pack uh, glows in that color because it's white. I'll show you right now. It's white, and these blacklight LEDs illuminate anything that's white, like I said just two seconds ago. Now, even in the light, like in the bright ass light, like I have a really bright light on right now, um, these still bright, uh, shine bright enough to illuminate pretty much 90% of the controller. Then you can turn on your red, teal, whatever color you want, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, go to rainbow, eight, there we go, it's mode eight, and when it's rainbow, all the buttons work perfect. Uh, this is a little bit squeaky up here because um, it's a little bit squeaky on these top two buttons right here, one and two, the RB and LB, uh, right bumper, left bumper, is because it's a custom made piece, so it squeaks a little bit if you want. Uh, I can loosen up the screws and it will take away that squeak, but usually when you're playing, you have your hand like this. so. You just hear the click, you don't really have that squeak unless you're holding it like this. But if you click there, no squeak. Also, this guide button can be changed out for any color LED in the middle, ABXY LEDs, fully customizable, remember that. Uh, just go on and send me a message if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Alright, have a nice day.